Welcome to On Mac Development, conversations and tutorials on today's latest technology in Mac software, applications, programming, and development. You can access related resources, recommended reading, special offers, and more when you visit the On Mac Development Resource Center at informit.com slash macdevcenter. Hi, I'm Diane Daniel, and I'm at the Voices That Matter, the iPhone Developers Conference, and I'm here with Aaron Hillegas. Mm -hmm. Aaron, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, what I'm most famous for is I'm the author of Cocoa Programming from Mac OS X, which is, I think, pretty much the standard book for how to do the book. <laughs> application developing on, on the Mac. Um, my company, Big Nerd Ranch, does a lot of training on iPhone development. So I was here during the, the keynote session um, for the conference. So I really kicked off the conference. Great. Um, you also announced a partnership with Pearson this morning. Tell right. us a little bit about that. So um, uh, Pearson came down and convinced me that there were all these wonderful things that we could do together. Uh, in particular, we're going to be working together to publish five books. So we're going to do an iPhone book. We'll be doing a sequel to my Cocoa book, which will be the Cocoa 2 book. Um, We'll do advanced Mac OS X programming, which is sort of a more the plumbing of OS X from a programmer's point of view. And we'll be doing our Django programming book. And we'll also be doing an introduction to C and Objective-C, which would act as the prequel to my Cocoa book. So something easy for beginners to get started with. Um, we're also going to be working with things like the Voices That Matter conferences to set up tutorials and classes beforehand and to make sure that they have speakers from Big Nerd Ranch bringing informative topics to the, to the talks. We're also really working hard with Pearson VUE trying to finalize uh, certification tests for uh, Big Nerd Ranch certified iPhone developers and Big Nerd Ranch certified Cocoa programmers. The idea being <clears throat> not that passing a test would say that you're a great developer, but just to make sure that you have the basic knowledge. These days, anyone who downloads the developer tools from Apple is calling themselves an iPhone developer, and it would just be nice to have a test to sort of separate the people who actually understand what they're doing from the people who don't. What might some of the uh, aspects of this certification cover? Like, what, what would be some, some of the things? In right. This? There, are, there are very central concepts to both Cocoa and iPhone programming. For example, memory management, how to deal with what's called pertain counts, um, to make sure that you're freeing memory when you don't need it anymore, but not freeing it until you're really done with it. Um, there is the separation of the idea of the view versus the layer. Um, these, these are very core concepts to what we do. And it's good to know that when you're hiring, let's say, a consultant or a new employee, that they at least have this basic knowledge. And th th so this will help people hiring as well That's as right. just knowing that you're tackling the subjects that you could, should be. Right. OK, right. interesting. Um, anything mm -hmm. else about the conference that, that stands out? How are you enjoying it? Oh, it's been a wonderful that? conference. Um, the audience has been a group of really interesting, diverse people working on all different aspects of iPhone software. Um, I, I'm always really interested to come out and see what people are working on. And, and people have been very generous with sharing what they're, what they're currently doing. Oh, interesting. What are some themes that you're hearing? Well, it's interesting. Is it seems that people are moving into a more mature sort of app development, that well, people are not working on new fart apps. They are working on solving really essential business problems, often picking some particular niche and really addressing the problems of that area. Instead of trying to go and sell 40 million 99 cent apps, maybe they're going to focus and charge a little more to do a quality application for a small group of people. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, well, we're going to come back and talk again. Thank you so much for telling me about all that. My pleasure. Thanks for podcasting with us. Remember to visit the On Mac Dev Resource Center where you can access recommended reading, special offers, and more at informit.com slash macdevcenter. Be sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single episode. Brought to you by InformIT, the trusted technology learning source.